talent. No matter how well you have set up your Google AdWords campaigns, but if you haven't paid much attention to your landing pages, then you are going to struggle to get more conversions. So in this video, I'm going to show you my top six tips on how to optimize your landing pages for higher conversions. Hello, I'm Uzair and thanks for joining in. In this video, I'm going to talk about why landing pages play a huge part in the success of any AdWords campaigns. Now, I've seen many campaigns where uh, the person running it is just running it to the website's homepage. Um, I would highly recommend not to do that because the homepage is one of the worst places where you can drive traffic from an ad because uh, the homepage has got lots of things on it. Uh, you may offer uh, various services. Uh, there isn't enough strong enough call to action and you need to be very very specific as to where you want your visitor who clicked on your uh, ads to go to so if they are looking for a banana then you should send them to a page where they can buy bananas or a green apple ad should go to an uh, uh, landing page which sells green apples and not red apples because although it is an apple I don't want the red apple I'm looking for a green apple so why make me look around search around on your website when you can quite easily send me to the uh, relevant uh, landing page and I can uh, get my stuff or uh, buy it uh, from your uh, from your website without uh, having to look for it so these little things make a huge difference for the success of your campaigns and increases the conversion rates so for e-commerce websites i would highly recommend that you send them to either a category page or straight away to your uh, landing product landing page but it's a little bit different for uh, lead generations because lead generation campaigns uh, has have got different call to actions you know sometimes you want them to sign up to your newsletter or for blog updates or to download your ebook or a video course so it could be any uh, call to action so you've got to be very specific as to where you are sending them if you have written on your ad download my ebook then you should have that call to action on your uh, landing page download the uh, ebook so let's go and open up my notepad and i'm going to give you my top six tips on how to uh, optimize your landing page now these are not in any particular order so you start off with your offer clearly state your offer you don't want your visitor to get confused about what the offer is if you have got download my ebook then offer that straight up um, clearly in the heading what benefits and features uh, your uh, so your solution has so benefits and features is the next one uh, why should I download your ebook? Why should I sign up for your newsletter? Why should I uh, sign up for your video course or or whatever that call to action may be? What benefit do I get and what solution it offers? So you don't need to have a very, very long uh, and lengthy sales page. You can state them up as uh, small uh, and short and sharp uh, bullet points where it is very, very easy to read and somebody can get your message um, very clearly and easily within a matter of seconds okay uh, keep the layout of your uh, landing page very simple don't make it too confusing in fact a lot of the landing pages which are, are high converting don't even have a, a navigation bar at the top so it usually doesn't have no navigation bar 
and they are usually uh, hosted on a subdomain so what I mean by that is if your website is on www.yourwebsite.com then your landing page could be on something like offer.yourwebsite.com so what I'm saying is keeping um, your landing page away from your uh, website because the website has got lots of different call to actions and I'm going to come on to that uh, call to action on the next one and uh, cover that in fact I'll write it as strong call to action websites usually don't have strong call to action they are usually set up by web designers who don't know much about uh, landing page optimizations and with all due respect um, and I'm not trying to say that all web, web designers are, are bad there are some very good ones as well but like in any industry there are good ones and there are bad ones so having a strong call to action is extremely important what do you want them to do do you want them to oops I've clicked on that um, do you want them to call you download something uh, watch a video it could be a variety of um, action um, a PDF which you have to offer so what is the call to action buy so these are the call to actions which you can set up on your uh, on your on your landing pages so be very specific and I would highly recommend that you only have one call to action don't have multiple call to actions on a landing page because again it confuses that visitor and it defocuses them they they, they then get confused as to should I be uh, taking that call to action or this one so keep it just a single call to action as to what you want them to do so that you can um, uh, calculate your conversion rate um, forms now there are some people who want your life history before you can <laughs> download an ebook or sign up to something they want your name first name last name email um, address and it, it just makes it too uh, too long my advice would be to keep it very short in fact on some of my landing pages I just have one field which just says enter your email to download my ebook or enter your email to sign up to something uh, don't even have first name or last name even uh, quite often uh, again it all depends on what the offer is um, in some industries like insurance uh, insurance companies they need a lot more details but then you can split the form as a part one and part two so get your the name and email and get them started to uh, signing up and the other thing which you really need to consider is a lot of these um, visitors are using their smartphones so it's quite difficult and tricky to uh, type on a phone so people who struggle with big fingers to type on a, a phone uh, won't fill in the form if they struggle to do that so keep it very simple and you will find that you are getting uh, higher conversions now don't take my word for that you know split test it have a have one page with a short form one page with a long form and see what happens and whichever is converting more then you drive more traffic to it so you can take advice from videos like this one or for myself and from other people but don't take this as a gospel use this as a starting point and then keep on optimizing it testing it trying things different things and everything works differently for everyone if something works for me it may not work for you so you know don't say well you know Uzair told me to do this and I tried this and I got zero results well if you haven't tested it then um, it is your fault for not 
or trying different things so I would always say uh, test these but from what I have um, found and experience is I tend to keep my forms very short the last one is video again you will find a lot of people don't have videos on their landing pages and you would have read seen watched everywhere on the internet a video increases your conversion rates so why aren't you using it yourself everybody hates getting themselves in front of the video i don't like myself being in front of the camera and looking at myself hearing my own voice but it is part of my job if i'm going to preach everyone oh you must use videos you must do this and you must do that and if i don't do that myself i'm going to be a hypocrite aren't i so you got to have videos on on a landing page or on your website so pretty much everywhere youtube social media channels video helps increase conversions as simple as that you are watching this video you are engaging with me interacting with me you may like this video comment on it share it and it helps me uh, spread my brand my message and uh, more people uh, sign up to my newsletters visit my website increase my uh, email subscriber list and buy more stuff from me so this is why I'm doing videos like this one so it is the proof is in the pudding and you can see that i do this regularly uh, i have started to do this regularly because it it really does work so try it don't have excuses like well i haven't got a video camera proper lighting audio equipment just get it you know just start just it it takes less than five minutes to get started with starting a video on a smartphone don't make excuses perfect as you go along your first few videos are going to be bad but as you keep on creating more and more you are going to find that you are improving and and that's what i do my f f when i watch my videos which i created long time ago i cringe i say, oh my god what what did i do what did i you know why didn't i do this properly but i wanted wanted to get started I, I just got started so don't get stressed about this yeah the quality has to be good uh, but the content matter has to be even better if you've got great content and you got an inferior quality video people will still watch it the two things which I would recommend is you know pay a little bit of attention with the microphone so I've got a mic like this one it's a high quality mic but it's not an expensive one it costs less than hundred dollars um, and some decent lighting kit which again will cost you less than $50 smartphones every smartphone has got HD video on it 4k video on it so there's no excuse not to get started with video so I'm sorry I don't take this as an excuse anymore that oh I don't have any equipment uh, you've got all the equipment use a window light if you want to but just get started so video is very very important and again split test it make one page with a video one without a video and i bet the one with the video is going to convert more so that is for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you do like videos like this one then please comment in the box below and i will do my best to create a video for you for any questions or problems you may have thank you for your time and for uh, joining in this video I really do appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.